Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm currently in my dad's village of Tnalt with my cousins from Chenin's side. Chenin's mom, her brother, her sister, and her sister-in-law. Chenin couldn't make it because she's really pregnant and can't really drive long distances. Okay, so today friends, I'm back in South, well, Su, at the Su market. Uh, came back here uh, because this weekend is the beginning of Chumben and the uh, first day of Chumben is actually called Kanben. Kanben and we're gonna go to the temple, the Wat, tomorrow to Kanben and we decided to come to the Su Market Dula shopping and I picked up some clothing, some nice, uh, nice dress shirt and nice pair of dress pants. It's raining again, it's always raining. This is uh, Chenin's dad's house. It's actually a couple houses down from where my dad used to live, where he grew up. And uh, Chenin's dad actually lives or stays here in the countryside. And Chenin's mom lives with her and helps takes care of her kid. And before we left Numping, we brought this bottle of uh, chiva from a wedding, or not a wedding, a housewarming that we attended uh, a couple days prior. And I'm um, having a drink here with Chenin's dad there on the left. And uh, we're just having a nice little dinner here, but uh, from here on out, I won't be doing a whole lot of voiceover. Just gonna let you guys uh, kind of soak in the ambiance, uh, kind of like a uh, countryside ASMR. I'll pop back in every so often if I think there's some explanation that's needed. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, we're at the Via Market. Just had breakfast. Nice bowl of uh, pho for a dollar. That's pho, uh, Kapil. <laughs> we're not in uh, Vietnam anymore. And uh, I'm gonna do a little shopping. My man bag broke and I need to buy a new one. Bag. Bạn mời hơi. I got one. Five dollars. Pim ơn. 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 Pim Talang tang chu. I just want to pop back in here real quick for anyone that doesn't speak Cambodian because I'm too lazy to write the captions but uh, Chenin's mom's just telling me about the land here which is all owned by their family it was all given to each of uh, the brothers or, and sisters of, of my dad and uh, they kind of broke it all up and um, some people uh, uh, took it and, and started growing plants and stuff on it some people didn't want it and that's all she's really saying here but it's really interesting to go back here and and uh, see this property it's uh, it's actually pretty big, but it's mostly just farmland, growing bananas, uh, mango trees, uh, fruit trees, things like that.
freak I wore the wrong outfit for being in the jungle. These mosquitoes are like swarming me. I didn't put any mosquito lotion on either. Should have wore long sleeve. <sighs> Damn. Sheesh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's probably more that I'm not counting, but I was only in there for maybe 15 minutes and the mosquitoes swarmed me. I should have wore a long sleeve shirt. This is stupid. I hope I don't get like dengue fever or malaria or something. a lot of bananas. I believe they're taking us all to the Wat tonight, either as like an offering or maybe they're gonna cook it. Some brain galash should fix me right up. I'm actually not really that itchy. Most of them seem to have like, most of them seem to have disappeared on their own. But I do love the smell of brain galash, so. <laughs> And it works really well to relieve itching. These little buggers. And yeah, next time, uh, I actually have clothing meant for using the jungle. I didn't realize that's what we're doing. Alright, good as new. We're at the Sioux Market, trying to find some lunch.
here with Ty Chenin's brother and his friends. We're gonna go hunting for rats. Look at this thing, it's pretty wicked. Looks homemade. Got a bolt action. <laughs> Whatever we see, we're gonna shoot it. <laughs> These are not the best shoes for walking in this water. They're fine for hiking, but it's stuck in the water. <laughs> the tra trading shoes. I can't walk in those freaking shoes. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Look at this. These are all flooded rice paddies. Boom. Wait. ตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้งตั้
it would dip under and we would take on water. That's why he keeps having to bail the water out. We did that the entire time. So we have to be really careful not to rock the boat too much. <laughs> We're definitely gonna end up in the water. If you don't know how rat hunting in a flooded rice paddy works, it's pretty simple really. Uh, when these fields flood like this, the rats try to find dry land. You can typically find them in uh, the taller grass, the, the shrubs, uh, even the trees. And you're basically just cruising along looking for the rats that are hanging out in these areas. And you kind of get close enough that you can get a good shot and you, you shoot them. And we're not hunting just rats either. We're also hunting snakes or larger birds, pretty much anything that uh, you can shoot and eat. Yes, they do eat rats and snake here. I had to bail out the water. I have you actually started it. ขึ้นลอดขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นข
And after we got the fire started, my friends here started foraging for some snacks. He found some snails and he dug up some of these, uh, they look like potatoes. They actually call them cow potatoes. Well, we didn't catch any rats or snakes, but it still was fun. Got a campfire going, had some beers. It's raining out. Nice and relaxed. Very peaceful out here. I'm gonna try one. I hope I don't get the shits. Take this little guy here. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Yeah, you're gonna flip it. Oh, yeah. Good job. Right. 
So it's been raining pretty much non-stop ever since we got back uh, from our little uh, trip out in the water on the rice paddies. And um, the, uh, the what was basically a washout. I can actually hear the music playing. Uh, so I don't know if it's it actually going to slow down or not, but if it does, we might go out there for a little bit. But right now I'm just hanging out at the, at the house. Uh, Jenny's dad made some steak and we're going to drink the rest of this Chivas Regal. <laughs> we're going to try and drink it anyway. That's a, it's a big bottle for only two people, but half a bottle. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. Also the end of my Cambodia trip. Tomorrow I am headed to Thailand. I'm going to be spending some time there with my buddy Ani. And then I'm going to be headed home for a little bit. But I will be back in Cambodia soon. And I'm going to be bringing you a lot more content throughout the year. So stay tuned for that. If you made it this far and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And if you really enjoy what I'm doing and you want to support my work, please consider donating to my beer fund by clicking the link down below. But that's all for now. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.